The couple's tour of South Africa, Botswana, Angola and Malawi ends tomorrow. The Duchess said all of their engagements were organized around Archie's feats. Harry concluded six-day solo leg of a trip today and they will reunite tomorrow. Royal tours are normally choreographed to the last second. But when you were taking a five-month-old baby with you, that kind of timing goes out of the window. In fact, the Duchess of Sussex revealed, all of the engagements carried out by herself and Prince Harry in Africa over the last ten days have been organized around Little Archie's feats. Speaking to newspaper reporters on the penultimate day of their successful tour of South Africa, Botswana, Angola, and Malawi, Meghan, 38, described that the trip as being a full plate but thanked royal aides for being really kind to me and taking account of her baby son's schedule. She also talked about being reunited with her husband, Prince Harry, last night after he concluded a six-day solo leg of the trip, saying that she missed him so much. Smiling, the royal said, It's my first time being in this country, and Harry has continued on in a couple of other countries, we are reuniting today, which I can't wait for, I miss him so much. But I think for us it has been a really special trip, because you get to see when you're focusing on the causes that are really important to us, you can see that the impact is good, and it feels meaningful. Asked how it had been for them as a family, she said, Oh my goodness, well, we're doing well. I think the schedule, they have been very kind to me, because everything is based around Archie's feed times. So it's a full plate, but we're making it work. It's worth it. Royal tours are organized by Buckingham Palace at the request of the Foreign and Commonwealth Office with the couple's private office staff responsible for organizing the day-to-day -day actives and the pacing of them. Never before has a baby as young as Archie been taken on a royal tour, albeit with the help of a nanny, and although neither Harry, Meghan or their staff had no idea how he would fare, he is said to have been as good as gold. Meghan described being in South Africa particularly as a woman of color, as a powerful experience and praised the diversity of the Commonwealth. The Commonwealth is a very diverse place with 53 countries, and so being a part of this family, and the platform that comes with that, is an incredible responsibility that I take really seriously. Being able to be in Africa and South Africa, it's my first time being in this country, has been really powerful, she said. Yesterday, as Harry concluded his solo engagements in Malawi ready to fly back to Johannesburg to be reunited with his family, Meghan was undertaking some public visits of her own at the University of Johannesburg and at ActionAid, exploring female access to further education and the troubling issue of violence against women in South Africa. Meghan said, It's been very important to me for a long time to focus on women's and girls' rights, and especially their empowerment. During her engagement at ActionAid the Duchess said the country was at a crisis state and voiced how it was staggering to learn about the wide range of ages of the victims. Women have been taking to the streets in their thousands in recent weeks to protest against the nationwide levels of gender-based violence in South Africa, where rape is being used as a weapon. During a roundtable discussion with professionals working in the field, Meghan talked to campaigner Bafana Kumalu about patriarchy and how there was an acceptance in South Africa that men could do this without impunity. We must challenge men and hold them accountable for their actions, Mr. Kumalu said. And boys, Meghan interjected. The trouble is as a young girl if you are not feeling safe at school and not feeling safe at home, where does that leave you? And that really is systemic. That is a huge issue you will feel very displaced. She also voiced her anger about how communities tended to shame their victims into not coming forwards. Everyone is saying well that's just what is done, that's just how it is, and you're shamed into not coming forward. It's so normalized. You're shamed into not talking about it, even though you are the victim, she said. She added, there is no piece of this conversation that can't be had without addressing the mental health aspect. The ripple effect of the young girls who were affected by it and then their siblings, their community. As you say this is generational, this is cultural, norms are passed down and understanding and acceptance is passed down, so there is a mental health aspect for everyone there. But you're right. If you are doing this work with these young girls then it is trying as some way to break the cycle. As she arrived, 
Megan, wearing a khaki shift dress and heels with a pair of earrings she bought in Cape Town by a local ethical jewelry brand, Pichulik, was given a pretty posy of flowers by three girls whose mothers work for Action Aid, Liu Ayanda, 8, Kate Asha, 5, and Kalizo, 13. Liu Ayanda rushed forwards, curtsied and gave smiling Megan a big hug. The three girls then gave her drawings they had made especially for her. Liu Ayanda said afterwards that hers was love. Asked what love looked like, she said I drew a heart and one clouds above it and a cross below. Linda Wiesemlub, 37, women's rights manager at ActionAid, said, I think through her interest and passion in supporting women's issues around the world she is able to put a spotlight on what we are trying to achieve. For her to highlight the issues going on here particularly violence against girls, is another shot to our government. The couple's trip concludes in Johannesburg tomorrow. Meghan Markle is opening up about how she's juggling motherhood and her official engagements on her and Prince Harry's royal tour of Africa. The Duchess of Sussex revealed in an interview with the British media that much of the tour has been scheduled around her and Harry's five-month-old baby son Archie. We're doing well. Meghan told reporters following her visit to a local school near Johannesburg where she learned how the charity Action Aid is working to raise awareness and end sexual violence in schools. I think the schedule, they have been very kind to me, because everything is based around Archie's feeding times. So it's a full plate. Nonetheless, Meghan shared she is thrilled to be on the tour, which is her and Harry's first since Archie's birth. We're making it work, Meghan said. It's worth it. Archie stayed behind in South Africa with Meghan while Harry embarked on solo engagements in Malawi, Angola, and Botswana. The couple have since been reunited and Meghan shared she missed Harry so much while he was away. Harry has continued on in a couple, of, other countries, we are reuniting today, which I can't wait for, I miss him so much. But I think for us it has been a really special trip because you get to see when you're focusing on the causes that are really important to us, you can see that the impact is good, and it feels meaningful," Meghan told reporters. Archie made his debut on the third day of Meghan and Harry's Royal South Africa on Wednesday, September 25. The little one was taken by his parents for his first official royal engagement to meet with famed anti-apartheid activist Archbishop Desmond Tutu and his daughter, Thanke Tutu Ksash. In the short videos, the family of three strolled along a corridor as Archie, dressed in light blue overalls from H&M and matching booties, was snuggled into his mother's arms. Meghan looked chic in Club Monaco's Dremis silk dress and black pumps in the clip's caption, Arch meets Archie. Harry put his arm around Meghan in the sweet clip and leaned over to tell his son, you get to meet Arch. Archie let out a little giggle, which made his parents laugh. The royals met at Tutu's foundation in Cape Town, South Africa, which contributes to the development of youth and leadership, facilitates discussions about social justice and common human purposes. The foundation hopes to spread the teachings and thoughts of the Archbishop to new generations. During the meeting, the royal couple had a lively laughter-filled chat with Archbishop Tutu and Thandke, where Harry revealed that Archie constantly wants to stand. Meghan added, he's an old soul. I think he is used to it already," Harry said of his son. Thandke then joked to the baby, You like me, don't you? You like the ladies better, don't you? He's going to be a ladies' man. 